Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the subsets problem recursively. So, given a set of distinct integer nums, return all possible subsets, the power set. So, in the last video, I taught you how to solve this problem iteratively, but this time we're going to use recursion. So, as you can see, the input is an, an array of, of integers. In this case, in this example, 1, 2, 3. So the output is all possible subsets, or the power set. So how can we solve this problem recursively? Well, we can have uh, initially the empty set. And then we can go from left to right in the array and examine every element from left to right. And for every element, we have two choices. We either include the element or we don't. And then we recurse to the other elements. And we do the same for the other elements as well. We either include this element or we don't. And then we go here, we either include this element or we don't. So that's the main idea. We can find all the subsets by making that choice. Every iteration, we make that choice to include this element or not include the element. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I have a list of list of integer the final result then I will check if nums equals equals no or nums that length equals equals zero just return the empty list as the final result then I want to sort so arrays that sort nums in this problem it is not necessary to sort but because I want the output to be in ascending order, I would do so. But it's not going to give you any problem if you don't sort in this case. Because all the numbers are distinct. Then, I have a list of integer, A single subset. Gets a value of new. Array list of integer. And then I will call my helper method recursively. I'm going to pass the nums, I'm going to pass the, the starting position 0, the single subset, and the final result. And finally, I will return the final result. So this helper method is going to be recursive, and this is going to allow me to um, traverse the array from left to right and make the choice to include each element or not include that element. So I'm going to write it down below. So private void helper takes in an array of integer nums integer the position a list of integer the subset a single subset and a list of list of integer the final result so every time I'm gonna every time I'm going to include I'm going to include this in the final result. So I'm going to say result that add new array list making a deep copy of the subset that I have that I have formed so far. So initially the subset list is just the empty set. So this is the the empty subset. And the first time I call this method the first item I'm going to get in the in the power set is the empty set. So then I just need to have a loop for integer i gets a value of the position. This is the current position I'm dealing with. i is less than nums dot length plus plus i. So as I said I'm dealing with this position that I'm passing recursively every time. So initially, I'm dealing with the first element. So what I want to do is make those two choices. First, I will include the elements. I will say subset that add num sub i. And then I will recurse to the other elements. Helper nums i plus one subset and the final result. 
And then I have to make the other choice. The other possibility is not to include this element. So subset that remove subset that size minus one. So as you can see, I make the two choices. So I try including this element and then I recurs to the other elements or I try without including this element and then I move to the other uh, to the other elements with a for loop. So I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit the solution. All right, this is working perfectly. So as you can see, the time complexity is big of 2 to the n and the space complexity is also big of 2 to the n because there are 2 to the n subsets of n elements. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.